just click. G'day. Why am I wearing a helmet? Well, I had the pleasure the other week of working with singer Example and a few other good Brisbane actors I know too. And they asked me before I did the music video if I had any weird clothing. Well, I thought of the, the old Harley jacket and I thought of a helmet. Then I thought shorts, sandals with socks, which I never ever wear, trust me. <laughs> so it was quite funny. I'll tell you something else in a little while. But Example is a really, really nice bloke. Um, Aaron McNaught was there. The crew was also fabulous to work with. And we had a good time. And there's a link below for his newest video. Opposites, that's right. So I thought I'd give you a wrap up of how that went. Now this is not the first music video I've done as an actor. Um, I'll put some links below if you want to check out some of the other ones I've done in recent times. One of the music videos, for reasons I won't go into, they couldn't use with the existing audio. So I found a track and I edited the audio track on that. I'll link it below as well. As well as another one that's just come out uh, this week, um, in which I play a Mad Max character, and that's by a hip hop group called No Label Necessary. New cash, new whip, same class, new chick. And some of you said you'd like to know what I do away from YouTube uh, when I can. Stick around, folks. We're going to be right up next with a fantastic new band, Venus Envy. This guy's really going places. It's going to be the next best thing. All right, guys, Mr. Stearns here from head office. Because they're talking about cutting the show. Just be mellow. That's what the people want. Anyway, I doubt you're going to be able to top the last guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to take this. If you haven't stopped by my channel before, have a look around. I don't do many uh, music videos myself, but you might find something amongst the crowd of things to watch that you'll enjoy. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing. Aside from obviously editing, which I spend a vast amount of time doing, I was a professional photographer when I was much, much younger. And around about 33 years ago, I got into the film industry where I did pretty well everything behind the camera with the occasional bit of acting in front. Now I've had many many things I used to do uh, I had my own computer business quite a lot of things ended up working for the government for some years which I did my head in and these days probably for the last six years I've gone back to exclusively acting or just making my own little films but what a lot of people don't realise about acting, as the fabulous Graham Kennedy once put it. Isn't that terrible? Everyone, <laughs> you know, everyone thinks we're working flat out and we're not. Now I just do it for fun. Um, in the first year I got back into it I did at least a hundred different productions. But these days I either do things for money or just the ones I feel like doing for a bit of fun. And I'm happy with that situation. Mostly what I like doing is making YouTube videos. The majority of work I do as an actor, uh, the bread and butter stuff, is sadly stuff no one ever gets to see, not even me usually. And I do, I won't mention the names, but there's a number of universities that I do simulated or standardised patient work for, where you're given a scenario and you have to portray that particular person that the uh, trainee doctors usually, or specialists upgrading, come along and they ply their trade on you uh, and normally it's verbal stuff like um, history taking and whatnot. Uh, and it's a great program because it works for them far better than going out in the real world like once upon a time doctors did and meeting real patients. So if there is a slip up here and there, better for them to hone that error and get it right for when they see real patients. I love doing it. Some of the other things I've done this year, um, 
well I work for the medical association too uh, work for a uh, law society again role play I do a lot of role play I don't do theatre people always think actors do theatre well I don't I never have never will uh, I'd rather just record the camera and um, do several takes if needed or sometimes like uh, I was on season 2 of Harrow episode 9 and 10 you saw me in the background there Daniel, what happened? I didn't hurt Callum. Of course not, but where's Fern? She's not inside. Many, many takes. <laughs> The point is, once you're done, you're done. Uh, I just can't imagine doing that sort of thing for months on end. And I have the utmost respect for people that do that sort of thing. But not something that tickles my fancy. I seem to be always cast as a patient, uh, more often than not. I was in an ABC thing that just came out the other week, and I played a 500-year-old patient, quote-unquote. What? You know the guy in the bed next to me is like 500 years old. You know how many flowers he's got, Dave? You know how many? No! Five. You know how many more than me that is? Five? It's fucking five. Some of the other things I do, I occasionally do a photo shoot where, um, actually the one I did recently was extremely well paid. I won't say how much, but I was very happy. And it took like 10 minutes of real work. I've also done training videos. Uh, for medical people etc and again most of the stuff is things that I don't get a copy of and nobody will ever see but still so for those of you that have followed me for a while uh, I have mentioned briefly in the past that for a couple of years I worked on a feature film which is premiering next month called Magdala Rose in which I play Friar Thomas how sure are you of his allegiances <laughs> So that'll be exciting to see yet again myself on the big screen. Uh, I'm not sure of the, where it's going from there, Netflix or just DVD, I, I don't know, I'll keep you informed. But I'll put a link to the trailer down below too because it's really good. Okay, well, you asked for it, so there's a little bit of what I get up to when I'm not doing YouTube. Okay, cheers and I hope you enjoyed um, the links below. Catch you soon.